Hey, all you folks with a great business idea, this is your chance. Startup Nation's Sloan Brothers will show you how to start it up, step by simple step. Now, here are the Sloan Brothers. All right, I'm Rich. And I'm Jeff. We're the Sloan Brothers, founders of Startup Nation, the world's leading online content and community website. We are walking you through 10 steps to open for business. We want you to live that dream life that we've lived for many years. There have been some tough times, no doubt about it, but we wouldn't trade it in for anything. We're talking about step number seven, which is all about organizing your logistics. Now, that may be the least interesting of it, all the it, steps. It's not that fun, but critically important. If you want to have fun down the road, better get organized right when you get started. So one of the first things you need to do is go see the pros. Go see an accountant and go see a lawyer. Make sure you've got your business properly structured and make sure you've got your books properly structured so that you're going to be able to keep track of that business as you go. Accountants and lawyers, fundamentally important. That's right, and we might kind of bring it all together with the big four, as we say at the website. So you've got the accountants, you've got the lawyers, but you also need to get that insurance in place and you need to get your banking relationship in place. It may not be today to get that loan, but it definitely is an important relationship for you. There are a variety of services that a bank can provide beyond simply that checking account, and you're going to want to make sure that you are very tuned in with your banker, along with the insurance. That's critical also. Right. Well, the need for a lawyer and accountant is an obvious one. It's been around for a long time, but in the new era of business, how about a web developer? Believe it or not, you need a web developer. Whether you do that on a full, as you bring that person in as a full-time employee of the business or whether you go out and seek it on a contract basis, every business has to have a website, whether it be an e-commerce site where you do transactions or whether it simply be a website that you use to put up your brochure where to promote your business. You send people there to learn what it is that you do. You've got to have a web developer to put that all together. So a web developer is a critical professional you need to be able to tap as you start your business. So that's the website, that kind of external facing component to your business. But that, you know, we often talk about how important it is to leverage technology today and to get efficient by leveraging technology. Well, that's when it's important to have an information technology strategy and to have that relationship in place where you've got your IT expert who comes in, makes sure that you've got your server if you need the server, make sure that you've got the software, make sure that you have the technology for communication. You can sync your cell phone with your online contacts, whatever it may be. Your IT person is critical and he prevents downtime in your business and creates connectivity. Well, another one too is that even though technology may prevent us from having to travel around the world or around the country uh, today like we used to have to in business, you still need to be able to move around. So organizing your travel logistics will also be very, very important. Whether you use a travel agency, whether you find a great website that you're going to use to book your travel on, travel is a key thing to think about, believe it or not. You've got to get out there and take meetings. Make sure you have your travel logistics in place. That's right, and we're going through key logistics here. We probably should mention for those online e-commerce related businesses, you've got to have that merchant banking relationship in place. You may want to take PayPal as a form of payment. There may be an official banking relationship of some kind that you utilize for that merchant banking, so you can receive and take credit card payments at your business and, uh, and to make sure that you have no hiccups whatsoever in your ability to do business. Right, and if you're going to be doing business out of your home, you need to have a location to do that business, so real estate becomes another thing to think about. Are you going to own? Are you going to lease? Whatever it may be, get your real estate logistics in place so you've got the facility you need to operate your business. Right, and you need a clear definition of what the real estate requirements are, and then you probably need that relationship with a great realtor. You've heard us talk a lot about relationships, by the way, in organizing your logistics, and that's a key component to this. Many of the decisions a small business person will make will be based on those strong relationships, and that's a good thing. So this is step number seven, organizing your logistics in our 10 steps to open for business process. You are on your way. Stick with it. And tune in to StartupNation.com anytime if you want more detail on any of this.